My name is Gaushan Fox, I'm 17 years old. I'm the host of YFP, that's Shaman Shimano's Future Perspective, or YFP for short. It's a TV series that highlights positive things young people are doing throughout the community and throughout the country. Basically, we can't highlight the positive things because we feel as if the media highlights too much of the negativity and it makes the problem bigger than actually seen. I'm a recent country of John Prince William. Um, uh, well, basically, my biggest supporter is Darren Fox, my father. He always motivates me and always helps me to go for gold whenever I settle and just stay focused on my career. My name is Aaron Stubbs. Um, I won't say a word until it's done. Cause I'm born um, uh, 11 years old at St. John's College. Uh, I joined Temperament Integral. Goshen was talking about the show that he was starting called YFP. Young Entrepreneurs and Future Perspectives. But he just wanted to highlight the young entrepreneurs in the Bahamas because he felt as though uh, the media was the media was highlighting the majority of the negative things that the youth did. So uh, I collaborated with Goshen on the project. I really would like to give a special shout out to my parents. It was my aunt that really pushed me and she had this real entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, and I think I really take after her. Uh, Korean, shout out to Korean. YFP, Young Entrepreneurs and Future Perspectives. Our goal basically is to highlight uh, young entrepreneurs in the Bahamas and just highlight the positive things that they are doing. Just like my advice to anyone watching this was to just pursue your goals and just chase after your dreams despite what anyone might say. Just go there and do what you have to do. Uh, most importantly, I would like to thank God for allowing me to be ocean and just blessing me with these. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. On another mission, I got this thing locked. Like it was My name is Pinal Lamar. I'm, I'm the age of 17 years old. I recently graduated Jordan Bridge with them high school. I'm the co-executive producer of YF, the Young Entrepreneurs and Future Perspective. Young Entrepreneurs and Future Perspective. The show is about highlighting young things, doing positive things in the community. I started them in 2012 at the age of 13. Ocean came to me and gave me a good idea about business and I went and joined the uh, the company and come in the prize consists of seven members, the ages of 17 and 18. Hey, what's up? My name is Clifford Subs. I'm 17 years old. I just graduated Jordan Prince Williams High School. But I started Tumman Enterprise when I was in grade 11, and basically, it's just me and my friends doing business, doing what we love actually. and. I really, I met Goshen Fox, who's the CEO of Tumman Enterprise, uh, well, when I was in grade 7, so we really just clicked from there. Uh, one of the people I look up to the most is Eric Fox, he is the father of Goshen Fox. He really supported me, pushed me, I grew up in a house with, where I didn't have a father, but he was like a father figure to me, he really pushed me and inspired me and motivated me. Our newest members in the Tumman group is Aaron Stubbs. He, we met him through Goshen Fox and they just collaborated together. Two young minds attracted to each other. Shout out to my mother, she supported me and she helped me along the way. Uh, shout out to Goshen Fox, he is really a good person. He inspired me, keeps me going. My name is Carlos Moxie, I'm 18 years old. We never run and with our chest. I recently graduated from Prince William. I joined Temperament along with close friends about four years ago. 
because I really wanted to help people and encourage them and tend to the youth in the country, which is why we started a segment named Why Your Feet, an entrepreneur's and future perspective. I am the marketing manager of Temperament Enterprise, and I like what I do because I am associated with close friends that I know I can trust, and who all share the same common goal as me to help young people stay focused in our country. Um, my mentors were Mr. Eric Pop, part of Ocean Pop, key members, my parents fixing cars, playing basketball, the things I love to do, and I recommend you find something that best suits you in order to deal with the negativity and continue on being prosperous in our country. Hey, what's up? You're watching YEFE. That's Young Entrepreneurs and Future Perspectives. My name is Aaron Stubbs, and I'm the producer of the show. Today, this is our phone card giveaway. The numbers of our phone cards will appear on your screen right now. Welcome back. This is YEFE. That's Young Entrepreneurs and Future Perspectives. This is our second um, series, our second show, actually. Uh, young Entrepreneurs and Future Perspectives is a show that highlights the positive things young people are doing for the country because we feel as if the negativity is being highlighted in the media too much. So if you could give someone um, recognition for the good things they're doing in the community, we feel like we get, it can help in the crime. I'm Goshen Fox, I'm your host. This and is my co-host. And I'm Clifford Subs. And we have a special guest here, he's no stranger to us, Aaron Davis. <laughs> Years of age. Okay, um, what inspired you to do photography? Um, I always loved looking at like family albums when I was younger. So like looking at the pictures, they would always be like, wow, I like this. I like doing it. I like, you know, making, looking at the moments. And then when I would pick up a camera, I would like capturing the moments. And then a few years ago, um, about two years ago, my pastor at one of the church functions, he was like, hey, here, see, here's a camera. Go in the front and go take a couple pictures. I was like, okay, cool. Went in the front, and after about 15 minutes, I realized that, listen, I want to do this a lot. Now, I got my camera that same day. I ordered it that same day. And when, I, when it came, I started just doing like pictures of dogs, pictures of animals, pictures of flowers, you know, bugs, things around the house, stuff like that, water. But someone was telling me, listen, you can't just, with this kind of talent and with this kind of passion for it, you don't just let it low ride, you know? You don't just spend all this money on put, this put camera. As much as it, exactly. As possible. You don't spend all this money on this camera and then still not do greater things, you know? Use it for something that can help you. So I was like, okay, cool, I'll start a business. My business, um, the first year, it was maybe one or two clients a month, right? Mm -hmm. But around the ending of last year, it moved into me networking more with people, me um, becoming, you know, coming out of my shell, becoming, becoming a, a bigger person, I would say, because I was in high school when I started. I left in grade uh, 11. How old are you when you started? I was like 15, 15 okay. I started. Okay. Um, so when I left high school last year in grade 11, I and came, and went to COB, I was like, I can't just sit in COB have all this free time, I mean, apart from the work, have all this free time and, you know, not branch out my photography business. Um, what would you say would be one of your biggest setbacks in this whole photography business? Well, one of my biggest setbacks in this whole photography business is some people like to stick with the, what they know. So they know the older photographers. They know the the um, people who've been in it for 15 to 20, 25 years, and they decide, listen, I mean, I don't blame them. Yeah. Because if I understand that something has been there for a little while and I can trust that, I mean, some people won't take the chance. But that's one of the biggest setbacks. But I mean, I've overcome them now. 
So as a new guy, you feel like you doing your best to get yourself over there, or you feel like you have a little, way, a little ways more to go? Actually, at this point now, I'm feeling as if I'm there. Like, I'm not there where I want to be in the photography, but where I want to be in in my level of photography business. Not, not photography itself, but the business. Right. Because I'm networking more with photographers. I find that the older photographers, instead of standing off and be like, hey, what's this guy doing? They more, they're more of a, wow, this guy is coming up. Work is good. I think it's time for me to stop you know, looking down and hating on him and you know, saying that maybe he shouldn't be here. Or to saying that, hey, I should go and look out for him or I should go talk to him. Yeah, they kind of mentored you. And yeah, they're coming now into realizing that you know, it's not all about them anymore. It's now the younger generation. Because I have to pass the mantle on, like what Mars exactly. when said. Pass it on. Yeah. Okay, um, where do you see yourself in the next five years with your photography business? In the next five years, I see myself being published in an international magazine. I've already done business and, you know, I've done commercial work, like, for a lot of, <clears throat> sorry, a lot of the top companies in the Bahamas. So I see my, and I've already done a magazine cover, and I've also done. Oh, yeah, I think I saw that. Yeah. yeah and one or two pages inside of a magazine for fashion for a cause. And, <clears throat> sorry. So I see myself actually at an, on an international level. So, like, publishing something that's coming out in probably New York or Florida, you know, stuff like that. Okay. So is there any, like, current jobs right now, like, big jobs that you want to share? Um... My next big thing right now, well, right now for the rest of the weekend or next week, I have prom just lined up. Yeah, prom. It's a prom season. Um, next week, Friday, I think, I'll be shooting the College of Bahamas. That's a, probably a big job. It's the, their, their student union. I'll be shooting the whole student union. Um, in the summer coming up is Miss Bahamas, Miss Bahamas organization. Mm -hmm. I'll be shooting their, um, all the behind the scenes stuff, and I'll be shooting the shows themselves. I thought we'll be right back. Welcome back. We're here with a young man named Aaron Davis. He's no stranger to us. He's, he's a very successful photographer, and he's a future perspective. On um, the last question I asked you, um, who was your biggest supporter? Who would you think would be your most your, your biggest supporters and who would support you on a consistent basis? My biggest supporters would be my parents. They, um, and at the beginning, they weren't so enthusiastic about it. They weren't so... Yeah, all parents. Yeah. They, I mean, I, it being a, an art, I wouldn't say that they were that excited about it. But now, they, once they realize that I'm making it out there, I'm not, I'm not sitting home and, you know, letting life just pass me by, you know. I'm actually going out there and doing what I have to do for myself. My mother and my father are my biggest supporters. I mean, I wouldn't really say, like, they didn't support you, I guess. But they is just more concerned. Yeah, skeptic about it. Yeah. Um, would you, would you want to take this up for um, a full-time job or is it just as, like a side job? When you finish with COB or work? Well... And I'd say inevitably, inevitably, my, my, I wouldn't allow myself not to allow it to be a full-time job. I would. Would you say it would be your proudest achievement, your biggest and proudest achievement since you've been in the photography business? My biggest and proudest achievement since I've been in the photography business are getting people to hire me for like stuff like weddings. Like, honestly, that's that's a big thing. Because, I mean, I don't see weddings as just, a, oh, you two are getting married, bam, I'm going to take your pictures and leave, right? Mm -hmm. I see it as, this is a day in your life where, like, you two are having a, a very special moment. And that you're, you're trusting me so much, or that you have so much faith in me that you trust that I'm going to capture everything oh. and that they're going to be beautiful in the end. So you, want, you, you feel like as if that... You, you're so special to them and they can trust you with a special moment yeah. of their life because, you know, 
the wedding is really for the bride. It is. Yeah. So she basically put all her trust into you Everything. to get that. All right, that's, that's very impressive. Also, another one. Um, I also work with Teen Eye Media in uh, Freeport. In Freeport. Um, as one of their freelance photographers in Nassau, I've done stuff for them like water and sewage stuff. They've, they've put them on like billboards. Like they have one on the intersection of, I think it's Soldier Road and Louisville Road. Mm -hmm. They have a billboard. And my work is on that. Like that's another one. Like every time I pass it, I'd be like, hey, look, that's, you know, I shot that. Never give up, right? Never sell yourself too short. Never put yourself on a place where that you don't believe in yourself. Always decide that, listen, I may not be making it now, but if I keep pushing, I'll make it then, you know? They would see me online and stuff. They would be like, oh, this guy is not approachable, you know? They would think that. Oh. But um, they come to me and they realize when I'm hum they realize that I'm humble. They'd be like, please stay humble. Please stay, you know, down to earth. Please stay on a level where people can communicate with you and you're not thinking that you're above them. Like anybody I talk to, I could talk to someone standing on the side of the road asking for anything, and I would still say, you know, yes, sir, no, sir. Or I would still talk to them on a level where I feel as if they're on the same level as me. I don't see anybody as, you know, lower than me. That's very good. You know, you'd be walking up and down, you could just tell the difference between a normal young man and a Bachman. You, I mean, no, you be walking up a nod. 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 You could just tell the difference between a normal young man and a mock You, I mean, the physical appearance, the way they dress, oh, fuck around. You a light man. Like man. You a light man. Make no sense. Stop like your mind. Like your mind. Stop like your mind. Like your mind. It's that courtesy It's saying everything by me Took to see it stunning We never run it And with our chest We stay bumping In my courtesy Yeah, that's my courtesy No, I'm not I mean, you know, you just see a young man walking You can tell the difference between a normal young man and a backward just their physical appearance, just the way they walk in, you know? It'll do something to me. Joint, I mean, you know, these, tell us. These drugs is just bring it on your physical appearance, your mindset and everything. I encourage you all not to do that dope. That's Stay off that drug, say that dope. That ain't, it ain't cool. It may look cool, but in the long run, that could be bad for you. I mean, we, no, we're not only talking about cocaine and marijuana, we could also elaborate on uh, alcohol. alcohol. If you could legalize, if you could illegalize one, legalize all. Cause yeah. But I really think it comes down to this. Like, mar marijuana has longer term effects, because you know that can mess up your mind. You could be laced, as people would say. Anyway, and to me, but I see all these young people doing like they trying to impress man. Like, and my boy I say, yeah, why well, check this boy in this head? But I gotta go pack up a couple of kid niggas too to get little tripes. <laughs> so, like, that's what they think in their head, and they go do it. One might get off the hook next one in jail. You know, that's a lost cause. So. Well, you saying they do it because they want to be recognized, or they want yeah, to that's what, I don't think they do all the killing and stuff for money. I mean, I think it's for some like get a little bit of money. Most of it, that's like gain stripes so people can know them as well. So just basically.